75, 65%. That's a very interesting topic to kind of explore. I think there's a lot of different things that would weigh into what makes the most sense. And somebody asked me this and somebody asked me online and I've always been like 75%, 75%. And then I thought about it and I was like, well, when my FTP at one point went to 400, I remember, and I've told you this before that I was really actually, I never adjusted my zone my like endurance zones and i was still shooting for like 275 280 which is really only 69 percent. so let's say 70 percent. now had i immediately gone to 300 there's no way i would have held that like five six years ago i mean 300 mm -hmm. and then also i'm talking about we long weekend rides and, and and being able to do them like back to back week and, after week and and i remember rolling around on like sunday coming home and being like wow 250 like i guess just sundays are going to be harder and they are for sure especially if you push that like 75 percent. but i mean your wattage the day two it comes up but it takes years like for continual improvement granted now if you're, somebody's watching this video i'm talking about doing five hour rides back to back every freaking weekend unless you're not racing well grow i mean growing the endurance engine is is so a really longer. it's like a long it's a really long-term thing right mm -hmm. which growing <sighs> the mean, engine is a long term because growing the endurance engine is growing the engine that's the same thing it's the same thing. so i guess where i was going with it was long rides i was targeting 70 percent. i've done a four-hour ride four hour ride at 80%, which is not endurance, but I just did it for, I was talking to Tom about some things and they had put 80% on that one ride, not meaning that was the target, meaning that was the upper zone, but I mm -hmm. went for it. It was extremely difficult. It was super hard. I, I think for a long ride continually, point, like 67%, is a good 67 to 70 is a good target but if you're lo less it's okay like you don't have to kill yourself but i think variety is good i think every once in a while like change down being like all right i'm gonna go for 75 percent today i mean it's tough uh i just don't think it's feasible all the time long term for long weekend rides if it's a two-hour ride on a thursday go hit 75 percent also, the TSS is significantly less if you're riding a lot, if you only do 65 versus 75%. Um, yeah. And so think about even what that represents. Like the lower TSS re represents lower like fatigue. So you're going to be better recovered for the next one. And you've still done the, the quantity of riding. So like that's in the, you know, the TSS is representative of, the fact that you are straining yourself less, but still getting that mileage. See, but I was even saying that like on big hours, that amount means like it could be a hundred less a week. Is that significant? I mean, that could be 10% less TSS. I was saying it more as like a negative thing. You know? Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, well, yeah, when I was like thinking like, okay, well, are you you know, are you thinking of this as intensive Work. endurance? Yeah. Like, are, are you trying to, it depends like what season it, it's in. Like it's, it's fine to maybe get that little extra fatigue if there's no racing for eight or 10 weeks and you're really just trying to do some engine building stacking. Like, I feel like that extra load couldn't be a bad thing, but then I guess the question becomes, is the, you know, you were talking to Tom about, you know, building mitochondria and, you know, it's happening at 65% or 75% about the same. And, and I think he had made a comment about uh, muscle firing. So like, then you could say, okay, well, maybe we need to be riding lower intensity, higher cadence. Like what you're going to get more muscle, your muscles are going to fire more frequently. Like maybe that's, you know, another way to intensively, like if you can bang five hours at 71% at 75 RPM versus 85 RPM, like think about how much more, maybe there's benefits to be made there. Um, it's just not been really studied. You can't, you can't, can't put, can't, can't you be. can't put a hundred pro cyclists in a lab and say, do five hour pedal. We're going to watch you. Oh yeah. You got to do that again and again, and, you yeah. know, figure out. 
it's it's too much to quantify and i mean i think so the cadence thing is is very interesting because it is if you're pedaling easier it's easier to spin it more and um going at 75 percent, keeping that higher cadence the whole time for me is like i don't want to say impossible i'll say i just don't do it i like can't i like get into a grind at some point i'm like yo dude spin like stay at least in the 80s like i tend i'm probably naturally like 83 84 but i'll find myself doing like 77 and i'm just like because it's i mean dude it's 75 percent is 310 watts it's just like it's still a lot of effort <laughs> so mm-hmm. the interesting thing is though the difference between 60 percent and 75 percent is 20 tss per hour so i mean that's if i'm doing 18 hours of endurance that's 270 in a week that's sig- that's a lot less tss on i'm saying in a bad way yeah in a bad way only because but is it i mean how you know or is it like no dude you'd be getting 270 less tss but the same adaptations uh, i don't know i mean if you zoom out far enough if you're if you're pushing less you're doing less and your your quantity of work over a season is less oh you, yeah. everybody knows that if you ride more like it's been studied over and over if you build your engine by riding more and more and more you get better and better like that's just that has been proven time and time again so like if your volume of work is like at some point you can't you can't ride 40 hour weeks like nobody's gonna want to that's not going to be beneficial right right so like if if your week maximum is set then to increase the quantity of yearly work at some point you have to you know there's going to be an effect by going a little bit easier but it's not defined. It's really hard to define where that might be. Yeah. I think a little bit of variation. I think a little bit of like, you're saying like, when in the season are you really, Mm -hmm. what is the goal? I mean, I I think my takeaway is I'm going to be shooting for 70%, 72%. I mean, if I can do like high two nineties, I'm like, damn, that's a solid endurance ride. If it's over 300, which would be like 73, 74, that was definitely a tough day um mm-hmm. no but well and then and then it's like okay cool that you're the part of the training is for f- the physiological reason and then part of the training is for like what is what does your race look like if your race is if you're a, a kieran racer you don't need to be training your 75 percent endurance zone you know that's not really going to help you be better at your event but Mm -hmm. it really depends specifically i guess for me i ride a whole lot less so if i'm doing an endurance ride i'm doing 75 percent, maybe 77 percent. i'm gonna ride tempo because otherwise i can't consistently keep above you know 10,000 kilojoules burned a week it's just not going to happen and and i found that for me if i'm keeping that load a little higher i ride a little better it's it's pretty it's pretty parallel but you know i'm riding 50 percent or less of your volume Mm -hmm. so it needs to be the consideration i guess should be different Mm -hmm. it's a this it's a really tricky yeah i mean i think like we said that you're never gonna know the exact i you know i think i think push sometimes don't i had this conversation with the guy Shout out Sam uh, in Boston, hmm. who's uh, like a. I'm trying to think now. Did he go to the Olympics or is he just like world class rower? And um, all his rides were like 0.62 intensity factor, 0.65. And I was like, "Yo, you want to up these endurance rides?" He's like, I thought it was like just go as easy as possible to get the miles in, but like still pushing. I'm like, "Yeah, I think you can push a little bit more." He's been getting some benefit, like anecdotally and doing more kjs and stuff pushing a little bit more but then some are still like 0.67 whatever i think the the thing for me to not stress if i ever saw an endurance ride below 0.7 if i was like what was that damn that was too easy or it was a day when i lifted and i just was like i'm tired Mm -hmm. and that's one reason why i stopped i think another good reason connected to today's video was moving it was proof to me that 
while potentiation is a thing for short efforts and putting out watts, I think for long duration stuff, super long, mm -hmm. it, it, your body just runs out of energy at some point. <laughs> like mm -hmm. you just can't always be like, I'm going to lift and expect to be more on. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah.